In this video, I'm going to show you how to use glass tint spray and the pros and cons to the method. If you're new here, hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. What I love about glass tinting is that it's fast, it's simple, and it can really change up the entire ambiance of your object. You can grab things from the thrift store or use those beautiful crystals that are handed down to you that may not fit with your style right now, but it can completely change the look. Let me show you. Since this bowl is going to be used, we're actually going to spray the back side so it's easier to clean on the inside of the bowl. The process itself takes only about five minutes. Just make sure you shake the can very well and do sweeping motions and continue doing light coats until you see the desired result. Then you just set it off to the side and dry. Here are other examples of glass tinting that I've done for my mom, <laughs> for her house. This color is a beautiful jade tint and you can see all the many different applications you can use. You can use it for the pendant lights or that very, that crystal vintage platter, I guess you would call it. It went from such a super elegant design to something more coastal yet beautiful. But you can really do a lot with glass tint. The possibilities are endless. It just depends on where you spray for the object. So the pros and cons of glass tinting this spray method is that it's not good for feed items unless you're spraying behind. So you just wash by hand and let it sit out to dry. The good part though is that it's super fast. It's a lot faster than doing the stain method where you have to bake your items or not touch the item for 24 hours. This spray method is super fast, super easy. You just have to know how to work around your needs for the object. Then you also have this example where there's beautiful artwork on the outside, but we wanted to spice it up even more and add some blue to it. So you're gonna spray the inside, but not use it for food or for watering plants. Using for dry items, like my mom actually uses it for sugar packets for the coffee station. And it's still beautiful, elegant, and it matches her new Christmas color. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you're enjoying this holiday mini series. Please hit that subscribe button so you can check out all the videos to come. And I hope to see you in the next one.